we're going to be finding the instantaneous of rate of change using the algebraic model. You'll notice that we're still using that same equation that we've used before. F at x plus a little bit minus f at x divided by a little bit. So we're going to take on a linear equation to start with. We're going to be asked to find the slope of 2x plus 5 where x is equal to 2. Now, I'm sure you already know what the slope is, but this is mostly an algebraic exercise to warm us up for using this function when we get to quadratics. So we'll get used to it first. So there's our expression. f at x is 2x plus 5. What is f at x plus h? So what does that really mean? Well, everywhere I had an x before, I'm going to replace it by an x plus h. So now, instead of having an x there, I'm going to put an x plus h there. There's the function I'm dealing with, the argument to that function. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that same problem when x is equal to 2. So f at x plus h is equal to 2 times x plus h plus 5. When x is equal to 2, this becomes f at 2 plus h, like that. So now I'm evaluating that equation at 2 plus h, and I just have to do a little bit of algebra to simplify that, and then I'm going to put it into my slope equation. So there we go. We're going to go through the expansion phase here, 2 times 2 plus h plus 5, well, actually, 2 times 2 plus h is equal to 4 plus 2h. I can further simplify that. 4 plus 2h plus 5 is equal to 2h plus 9. That's a relatively straightforward thing to solve. Now I have my completely simplified expression for f at 2 plus h. I'm getting all ready to put it into this slope equation right here f at 2 plus h minus f plus 2 divided by h. So, here's my equation, f at 2 plus h, and I know that that is equal to 2h plus 9, and I know that f at 2 is equal to 9, so now I have my slope function here. And all I really have to do is a little bit of simplifying here. I know that 9 minus 9 is 0. So I'm left with 2h over h. And those h's are going to cancel. And technically, they're still there. And so h can't be equal to 0. But I know that my slope is going to be equal to 2. Okay? So there's the solution.